unbox more of these mystery boxes of plushies that are holding tiny foods to represent them. Yes, we're going to be unboxing Snackle, the tiny... That's the name of it. Yes, we're going to be unboxing Snackles, the adorable plushies that come with tiny foods, and there are 11 to collect. Yes, 11 is a kind of weird number to have a collectible. Usually it's either 12 or 10 or 8, but no, here we actually have 11 figurines to collect, as you can see on the screen, and let me know in the comments which one of these 11 do you hope we're going to be getting today. In this series, we can get anything from an adorable elephant chupa chops, a cinnamon bun bunny, Pringles chicken, a Tabasco dragon, a Fruit Loops unicorn, Axolotl Reese's, Mentos hippo, Push Pop sloth, Ramen puppy, Hershey's bear, and even a Mike and Ike cow. I'm not going to spoil it, but I will tell you that we did get seven plushies that were absolutely different, which means today we're going to be hoping to get five of the last ones remaining. Wait, five? Four. Four. We're missing four! So we're really hoping to be able to get the entire collection. That is the goal for today's video, is to hope that we get the entire collection. And we do have seven more to unbox, as you can see of the mystery number boxes on my desk. So we're hoping to get four different ones out of the seven that are here. Will we be lucky? I don't know, but send me some luck in the, in the chat. Make sure you comment with some four leaf clovers. <laughs> and also let me know which one do you want to get. And if you're new here, make sure that you do subscribe while you're down there and click on all notifications. It'll turn you up to great assault and assault chicken family. I'm just waving a sharp pointy thing at you. Don't be scared, it's very harmless. It's our way of waving at each other. Look at that. Hello there. How do you do? You like to be waved at? This is just another hand. They call me nerdy, sharp pointy hands. This is a perfect time to remind you, Grains and YouTube, that my videos are product reviews for people with purchasing power, not for little ones. My content never was and never will be for kids. And yes, these are made by Mini Brands, the same company that has mini figurines and collectibles of tiny toys and tiny foods. So if you like to collect these, definitely check out my Mini Brands toys unboxings that I did recently. There are so many cool figurines in there, such as the My Little Pony, Fidget Toys, and more. And yes, there was tiny money in there, which is kind of satisfying. They even have Mini Brands Disney and also Mini Brands Foods. And these foods are very detailed in terms of their boxing and what they look like, which is pretty cool for collectibles. For this unboxing, I'm really going to hope that we get the Pringles Chick, simply because it's adorable and I actually don't mind Pringles. They're kind of yummy. Especially the jalapeno one is my favorite. All right, so first things first, let's just put everything away. These things like to come back. Hang on. I got this. There. One of the things I wanted to let you know is if I do get any doubles, I will not say, oh, another double. Oh, we got a double. Just in case, for those of you who didn't see the previous video, I'm going to talk about it, say how cute it is, maybe even act like, oh, I love this one, it's adorable. I'm gonna be like that, okay? I'm not lying to you, I just don't wanna spoil the previous video, but for those of you who are watching this video first, I want you to enjoy it as it is. I'm going to still give you my review, my opinions, and all of that jazz. And since these are reviews, I'm going to let you know immediately that even though it says here, unbox me, I double in size, that is false. And I'll demonstrate that as soon as we open one so you can see it side by side next to an actual ball. And I'm still absolutely in love with their little slogan. It's kind of juvenile, but it is. It speaks to me. Which snackle will you unpackle? I don't know why it, it, it makes me giggle. It makes me giggle. What do you want from me? I'm very juvenile humor. And let's check the unboxing experience here. Will you actually open properly? The answer is it does not want to. It keeps breaking. Please, 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 please. Come on, come on, for the camera. Be pretty for the camera. Ooh, it got pretty for the camera. <laughs> there we go. Second layer. You two, come on, be pretty for the camera. There you go. Why is it working when I say that? Why, when I tell it, be pretty for the camera, it's like, okay, I shall be pretty now. I shall unbox just for you. Very nice. And let's see what we get as our first one. That's a nice pop. Oh my goodness! Tissel, oh my goodness, baby dragon. Look at this little tr Why do I love this so much? Look at it! It has some of these white markings, which kind of make the plushie look a little cheap. But by the way, let me show you that it does not double in size. 
Here's the ball, here's the plushie. They're almost identical size other than the tucked limbs and ears. So it is not true, the ball is almost actually bigger. I don't see it double in size. And this dragon is a Tabasco dragon. For those of you who don't know Tabasco, it's basically a vinegary hot sauce that is really yummy when you like to put it on your food. It's really good, especially I find on rice. It's not too hot, it's kind of mild, but this dragon is just perfect because it's heat with the fire and it goes I'm dragon, look at my fire. And then there's Tabasco, that it's supposed to be fire. Cause look, Tabasco's on fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are doing great editing. I love you, kitty editor, you're the best. And the dragon is adorable because the teeth itself are thick pieces of felt right underneath. So it is doofing, which is adorable, very cute. The wings have this glitter going on here. Oh, look, that's true. I forgot that there is a texture on this dragon. So you can see tiny scales. Turn it around, all around. So you definitely can tell this is a dragon because it has some scales. Absolutely adorable. Look at these, look at these. Oh, the horns also have glitter. Very nice. And the eyes are indeed embroidered. So the quality of the plushie is really cute, really good quality. But I find that these little white spots kind of make it look a little bit on the cheap side. These are $10, by the way. Each one of these is $10 US. And the Tabasco is plastic. Nothing in the back. Here's what the front looks like. Very cute. And then with each snackle, we are getting a mystery pack of stickers and the story behind the character. So let's open this up. And we do have the character guide, which we don't care about. We've seen all the characters at the beginning of the video. We have the Snackles sticker. And we should be getting a Tabasco sticker. My goodness, I love the Tabasco sticker. I have a sticker book just full of random stickers, which I'm going to be using. I also put the Chiquita Banana stickers on there. I don't know why I am in love with the Chiquita Banana sticker logo. It's a dumb obsession. I don't know how I have it. And here is the story of the dragon. It says, happy birthday to me, but then the candle went out. So it's like, wait a minute, I got Tabasco. So then it drinks Tabasco. It gets warm, it does fire with the fiery eyes on the candle, and then the candle is lit back up, blows out the candle, and it is now satisfied and quite happy. Which Bilby? Bilby. <laughs> Let's try that again. Which baby shall we get? No! you are a cow the Mike and Ike rainbow cow I really wish they gave these things names hang on let's floof you up you're not doubling in size but we'll floof you up anyways look at this a massage you like okay hang on let me get your shoulders it feels like you're carrying all your tension over here you like that <laughs> So we do have this Mike and Ike cow, and you can see that there's a gradient on the ears. So we have here yellow to pink, and on the other side, we have pink to purple. Now, one of these is an actual false advertisement. Let me show you why. Because if we look at the cow character, we can tell that it actually has some really beautiful gradients on each ear for a rainbow-esque style. And I really wish this is something that they kept up with or made sure that they wanted more of. Otherwise, it just kind of feels like they could have had the rainbow, but they opted not to because it technically is more expensive to have a smaller piece with rainbow on all of it. So I get it, but don't put it on the actual advertisement for it. Oh wait, they have names. What the shrimp? Duh. <gasps> they have names. How did I not see this? How did I miss that? I'm pretty sure many of you are screaming through the screen right now. I know I'm not the smartest or the sharpest tool. How did I miss this? Okay, now I really want to check out the names. We have Benji the dog, Lottie the Chupa Chops elephant. I really want the elephant. We have Danny the chicken. <laughs> Danny. That's so random. Felix the dragon, Susie the sloth. Why is this one an alliteration and the others aren't? Why do we have Susie the sloth and not Danny the dragon? Well, we have Felix the dragon and Danny the chicken. So why not like Chad the chicken? You can see where I'm going here? I much prefer when names rhyme. And we have Daisy the cow, Albie the axolotl. So you see, this one works. 
Hugh the Hippo. See, that one also works. So some of them are working and some of them are not. Brittany the Bunny. Again, that one does work too. Terry the, I guess Terry the Teddy Bear could work because it's not Terry the Bear because otherwise it would be like Bernie the Bear, Bernard the Bear. And we have Richard the Unicorn. <laughs> Richard. Isn't the nickname for Richard Oopsie Doopsie? Is this not a name? I don't know how that gets to the other, but apparently if you ask nicely. <laughs> wow, we really went off on their names. Okay, but to talk about this cow, the design itself is kind of plain. We don't have any kind of tails on any of the characters, which does make me sad because the back part could have benefited from tails, especially the dragon with no tail going on here. Kind of sad again. So they really put all their efforts on the front, but not for Daisy the cow. And here's what the Mike and Ike looks like. For those of you who don't know Mike and Ikes, they are kind of like gummy jelly beans, but a little bit more on the gummy side versus jelly bean side, if that makes sense. And I find them to be way more sugary. Let me know if you like Mike and Ike's. I'm personally not a big fan. And let's see the back over here. Oh my God, I love the fact that they put details in here. It really is like the mini brands. Since mini brands likes to put details of the products, I love the fact that these are here. And you can even see all the different kinds of flavors we have. Everything from Caribbean punch, the grape soda, pineapple banana, and blue raspberry. And then the non-nutritional facts over here, and even the ingredients list. But I'm going to give this overall design, other than the Mike and Ikes, probably more like a six on 10. All right, let's check out the character story and sticker that comes in here. We have the Mike and Ike logo sticker, the usual. And the story of the cow is the cow saw the rainbow, saw the balloons, took the balloons and went all the way up the rainbow. And at the end of the rainbow, <laughs> found a box of Mike and Ikes and just kind of took them. Okay, it's colorful, it's cute, but okay. And now that you've seen me struggle on the previous ones to try and get these open, here's my favorite way to actually get them to work as best as possible. And it is to, in fact, help it by slicing a line where the dots are, like this. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see the luck of the draw today. Okay, so it did work a little bit. Voila. We didn't even have to struggle much. Same thing for the next one, like a saw, and like a saw. If you do want the satisfying rip, then you definitely need this. Good, very good. Come on, satisfying pop. Not too bad. And, oh, please don't be a cow. Please don't be a cow. What are you, what are you? Ah, they you on that cord. Wait, Bernard? Is this Bernard? Richard, who's Bernard? There is no Bernard. I made it up. I made it up with the bear. It's not Bernard. It's Richard. Or as I previously said, oopsie doopsie. And my goodness, you are adorable. Absolutely adorable. Look at the hooves. So the hooves have a kind of metallic sheen to them. It has a slight texture. So the cloth is definitely different. The plushie is really, really soft. Oh no, what happened here? Okay, I thought that was a stain. No, it's the hair. Look at this rainbow beautiful goodness. This is adorable. Oh, oh my, why am I pulling your hair out? What's going on here? Hang on, that is not supposed to happen. That is not supposed to happen. I am not aggressive, okay? I'm not really pulling the hair. I'm just kind of checking it out. Okay, here's the horn. Your, your hair is kind of hiding your horn. It's making it look smaller than it should be. But here it is, okay. And here is the absolutely adorable mane in the back. We still don't have a tail. Again, very unfortunate. But we do have Fruit Loops. My little grains, we have Fruit Loops. I love Fruit Loops. For those of you who don't know Fruit Loops, it is a nostalgic cereal here in North America. It is very colorful. Here in Canada, they change the recipe so the colors are not synthetic or overly synthetic. I don't know how they are in the US now, but the colors are way more muted here in Canada. So I, I don't know. Let me know for those of you Amerigrains how it is over there if they change the colorants. And you can see the toucan with all the cereal over here. Let's check the back because we have details. Yes. We have the details. It looks to be more of an advertisement of the actual cereal, which is cute. Oh, and there's a QR code. Okay, you know what? I kind of want to see if this QR code works. All right, let's see if my camera can, oh, what? <gasps> Where does it go? What? It actually goes to the website? So we have Pop-Tarts, what is that? We have Apple Jacks Pop-Tart, banana bread. <gasps> we don't get these here, what? Pop-Tart, okay, why does it bring me to Pop-Tarts? 
That is weird. I just scanned Fruit Loops and I'm getting Pop-Tarts. Well, at least our curiosity has been satisfied. <laughs> And the inside of the ears are the same thing as the hooves. We have a metallic type pink. Same thing on the other side. What is the horn again? Just a metallic kind of red. I love the expression on the face. This one is a really cute plushie. Really, really cute plushie. Actually, have do they sit? No. I can't believe I didn't try it to see if they were sitting. I wonder if all of them sit. Dragon? Not really. Dragon, can you sit? Okay, dragon sits. Daisy, do you, they all sit. So far, they all sit. I don't know why I didn't check before. And this is probably one of my favorites. The hair is really wild though. Richard, your hair go crazy, man. I'm going to give this an eight on 10. The only thing that would make any of these absolutely phenomenal is if they were actually scented. I mean, I wouldn't mind Tabasco scented, <laughs> but Fruit Loop scented would have been phenomenal. And let's check out the character sticker and story. Okay, hang on. Where's our sticker? This is the character guide, which we've seen. And here we have a Kellogg's and Snackles sticker. I really do like this logo because it's just nostalgic. So I'm gonna keep that. And let's see the story. This one is eating some Fruit Loops and then about to sneeze, sneezes some confetti cereal and then the confetti becomes a party. What? Okay, confetti party, sure. He made his own party. I already did the cuts off camera. And there's an example of it not working. Good. One. And <gasps> we have, we have a blue character. Yes, we have Chupa Chups. Chupa Chup elephant. Oh my goodness, hello baby. Hello. Kind of looks like a dolphin. If we did this, it kind of looks like a dolphin. <laughs> but here it is. Let's take a look at the Chupa Chups. And for those of you who don't know Chupa Chups, I feel like they're international, but correct me if I'm wrong, it is basically a brand that has lollipops, it has gum, I believe that's it, maybe other kinds of hard candy. We don't have too many of them here, but I have seen them. And they're mostly fruit flavored type candies. And here we can see that it is a lollipop. So this is a strawberry flavored. Oh, what does it say? Strawberry and cream. Oh, I love strawberry and cream flavor. And I have to say that the trunk is kind of short and really does look like a dolphin snout, spout. No, the spout is where you go from, water. That's the spout, right, kitty editor? The spout is the hole that they breathe from. It's a stream of warm air being forced out of the whale's lungs. It, it looks like a dolphin. I really wish this were actually longer and flat at the front. Y'all, don't take me out of context, okay? I'm talking about the elephant's trunk here. I love this. It's cute, but it looks like a dolphin. And here are the ears. The cloth on the inside is very similar to the cloth on the outside, which is really, really soft. The eyes are absolutely embroidered. Very cute. Again, Again, we still don't get a tail. The hands and feet are nothing special. We just have a kind of embroidery on the edges here and up here. But otherwise I have to say the trunk looking like this looks way better than this one. Like here, it feels like they actually did the effort to make it slanted and look like it has an actual motion. <laughs> this one just kind of looks like it's doing this kind of thing. So I'm a little disappointed with this one. Let me know what your rating is, but I'm actually disappointed. I'm going to give this a four on 10. Quality wise though, absolutely adorable. Execution could use some work. Let's check out the sticker and character story. Pull these out. Oh my goodness. So we have the official Chupa Chups. Ch ch chup. Yeah, I'm saying it right. Why am I saying, why am I doubting myself? Chupa Chups sticker right here. The usual stuff. And let's check out the story behind this character. Okay, so the elephant sees the Chupa Chups, tries to suck it in, and then it does go in. Oh, but then it becomes a balloon because it inhaled too much ox oxygen air. So it's floating away, and then what happens? It just, it keeps floating and flies with the birds. Oh, like Dumbo and Disney. Because Dumbo can fly with his ears, and this one can fly with its air. Moving on. What's our next baby? No, no, I don't want the cow no more. 
Oh, why is that upside down? We have a double of the Mike and Ike Daisy Cow. Again, okay, I don't want no doubles. I'll reveal, by the way, at the end if we got any new ones, if you're watching this video for the first time, but if you're not watching this video for the first time, you'll know, you'll know. Please, please. What are you? What are you? Hang on, I'm, I can't tell what this is. <gasps> we have the puppy. The puppy had a funny name. Benji. No, that's not the name I was thinking of. Benji's a cute name. That is not the name I was thinking of, but okay. Let's floof it up a little bit. And we have the dog with the ramen maruchan noodle soup, chicken flavor. I love the fact that you can feel the texture of the words chicken flavor. So it's a little sticking out, a little embossed. Is it embossed? It's kind of popping out. Embedded? Not embezzled. That's a different thing. <laughs> But the dog does have an absolutely adorable smile. The ears of the dog are exactly the same cloth as on the outside. There's no actual real material here. We still don't have a tail. Let's check the back of the ramen here. And it gives us basically the nutrition facts, how to cook it, and the QR, not the QR code, but the uh, barcode. And just information on Maruchan itself. Now, I'm not a huge fan of North American noodle soups because once you've had the Japanese instant noodles, they're way better. Or even the Korean instant noodles, chef's kiss. I actually, funny story, completely sidetracked. I bumped into one of your grains at the grocery store. We had a good chat and you even recommended to me a noodle, the Korean noodle soup. And it was delicious. So thank you for the recommendation. I love bumping into your grains and I love chatting to your grains. But yeah, the dog itself, super cute. Nothing really to offer. The box is pretty cool. Everything is always plastic in terms of the food itself, but otherwise nothing really to offer. Do you sit? You do sit. They all sit. This is fantastic. Fun. Did I say fantastic? That is a new word now. Things are fantastic. And I don't think I've been rating all of them, but I'm going to rate this one like a 7 on 10. It's cute. And let's check our sticker as well as the story for this character. So we have the Maruchan logo sticker right here. The usual stuff. And the story is Doggy was sleeping. Doggy say, hey, you want a ball? And Doggy's like, no, I'm gonna sleep. Don't throw me the ball, I don't care. And the person's like, what about a Frisbee? Throws the Frisbee. Doggy's like, no, I'm gonna sleep again. And they're like, what if I have a ramen? And the dog is like, what? Let me chase that ramen and I'm gonna sleep with the ramen as a pillow. Very uncomfortable, but sure, okay. Now, this is indeed our last ball. So before we open it, I'm actually going to spoil all the ones that we got in the previous video. You can see them here on the screen. And these were the ones we got in the previous video, which means we've gotten almost exclusively doubles in this entire video, except for the Chupa Chups elephant. Why am I saying this right now? Because this is our last hope at something different. I was really hoping we would collect as close as possible to 11, but we've been getting nothing but doubles. Are they cute? Yes. Am I salty? Yes. Did I want different ones? Also yes. But this is our last hope. So, and the cow, I have four of them. I have four cows. I don't need four cows. Unless I was milking them, but that's, that's neither here nor there. Please, give me the chicken. Give me the Pringles chicken. Ah, please don't be another cow. Please don't be another cow. And it is indeed another double. We have the sloth. Susie the Sloth with the Push Pop. So in case you didn't see the previous video, let's go through it real quick. Push Pop is a kind of candy that was really popular here in North America. Let me know if it was popular in your country. Basically, it's a candy kind of in a lipstick type tube where you get to push it from the bottom and just kind of lick on it. It's kind of fun. I mean, who doesn't like lollipops in different flavors and, and shapes? <laughs> And the sloth really does have an absolutely adorable design. The only thing I don't like about the sloth is the hair itself is very random and yellow. I guess they're trying to match the push pop itself, but I feel like it could have been done better somehow. Although I'm not sure, I think sloths are supposed to be a little sloppy looking. But the embroidery, the smile, absolutely adorable. Nothing else going on in this character. Still pretty cute, but not my favorite. 
And here is the collection entirely of what we got. I'm not going to include the doubles with the collection, but you can see the doubles that we got on the side. So far, I think my favorite still is going to be the dragon and the unicorn. Those are probably my two favorites at this time. But let me know which one is your favorite in the comment section below. I am really sad I didn't get that the chicken. I wanted the chicken. If you want to watch the previous unboxing, make sure you click up here. If you want to watch something a little crafty, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you greens in the next video.